is called as Wilcoxon test, which is an H test. Wilcoxon T test, capital T. Just check that. Another one is, it's a variant of chi-square, which we call it the McNamar test. MC, any -E MAR, McNamar test. So you will have to have this in your mind before you take up Excel or before you proceed with SPSS. You, you have to be very clear. Is it pair? Is it a single sample? Is it parametric? Or is it non-parametric? And suppose you go for Kendall test, or what is that other thing that you have? KS, Kolmogorov, Smirnov. There are a lot of other tests that you have. You can go on and on. There's no limit. And uh, eViews and other things is for testing whether the model has got a fit or not. It is an advanced regression one. Still belongs to IBM and other companies there. Let's go to the other one. I told what is one-tailed and two-tailed, with direction, without direction, so let me not spend time on that. Now what happens is, just look at it. How, do, how are we arriving at the table value? Because most often I've seen it, my approach has been what my teacher has taught me, but many places people are taught to mug up values. 1.96, 1.65, 2.38, 2.34 kind of things there. But the thing is, if I say 